It's a main character in the book. It's a main character. It's a main character unto itself. Who knew? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I picked the beer I like. You know, I could have had a drink of PBR. Thank you so much. When your um, your uh, book publisher called about that, like a year and a half ago. We were worried. They were worried that like you were worried because Creek no. just sits in the bar all day and drives. Creek sits in the and drives home every night. They were a little concerned about approaching you because they were afraid. Like no, 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 no. No, it's exciting. They yeah. said, hey, we've got this book, and, and this is really exciting. And Kilflifter's mentioned in it, and and could we get some Kilflifter for the promo? I mean, it was pretty exciting. So we're very happy. Thank you. Yeah. Escapism as a writer and a reader, I'm looking for the same thing. I'm looking for the story to own me, or maybe maybe a better way to put it is like I'm looking to own the story. I want that narrative to be mine. I'm not into the authorial. I don't think the novel is dead. I think the author is dead. I think that uh, I just want to own that story. I want to own that narrative. I want to feel like I've lived it when it's over. And so I feel like as a writer. If I can give people what I want as a reader, which is to uh, expose them to this amazing, this amazing environment, uh, this amazing culture that they maybe have not had a taste taste of before, then uh, you know I'm, I'm doing some small service to the rest of them, and hopefully no disservice to us. I, I, I don't think this is a uh, I don't think this is a uh, Twilight sort of thing where you know we're gonna have bu bus of goth kids coming to Port Angeles because they're west of here. I mean, it's literary fiction. It's <laughs> On the afternoon of December 14th, in the year of our Lord, 1889, the good steamer Georgie Starr chugged around Edda's hook in a driving squall, her bowels belching hemlock and cedar as she pulled into ragged Port Bonita. When she landed at Morse Dock, nobody clamored to greet her. Only a few tatters of wet silk bunting were left to mark the occasion when young Ethan Thornburg strode off the Georgie Star onto an empty dock, clutching a lone leather suitcase with the wind at his back and his silver-eyed gaze leveled straight at the future. He might have looked like a dandy to the casual observer, a young man of some distinction, all buttoned up in a brown suit with tails, freshly quaffed, smelling of camphor and spices, his cleft chin clean-shaven, a wax mustache mantling his lip like two seahorses kissing. But upon closer inspection, visible through the shifting moth holes in his wool trousers, a trained eye might have observed the shoe polish daubed on his underwear, or the fear in his silver-eyed gaze. One might even have glimpsed the yellow-blue remnants of a shiner beneath his right eye. Kilt lifter beer by Great menu. Liberty Bay Books in Paulsville, Washington.